Hello and welcome to my channel being you now. Thank you so so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing an all signs reading your current situation and what is it that you need to know right now so this is very exciting this is a brand new segment if you're an og welcome 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 so wonderful to have you here i just want to um provide a bit of context about this new segment so this is something brand new that i'm doing on my channel a number of you had asked me if i do readings for other signs because if you have been an og you know that i do aries readings daily and um, I started off my channel, in fact, doing all signs, um, individual all signs readings, as well as Aries readings. And then I moved just to doing Aries. And I haven't really had the pull to go back to do a reading all signs just yet. But what did come through in my meditation, and if you have been following me again, if you're OG, thank you so much for all your love, support. And yeah. All the love and support that you have shown me and my channel and your donations and everything i really truly appreciate it and a number of you have asked me when will i read other signs do i read other signs so what came through my meditation is a happy medium which is i will be doing a collective all signs readings and that way you can check out your other placements so if you're an aries and you have other placements you can check those out if you um want to cross watch if you want to cross watch other signs what's coming up for them you can do that and um, also Aries will be part of this so Aries you're not really m missing out on anything if anything you're getting more because um, I know that some of my audience Aries might not be your sun rising it might be one of your other placements so this gives you also good insight into your other placements plus your sun sign as well if Aries is not your sun so um, yeah i am very very excited i just wanted to provide this context about how this reading will work so i'll be going through all 12 zodiac signs in the order that they're in starting with aries please 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 be kind be nice in comments and take what resonates and leave the rest because this is going to be a collective reading so it's going to be for the highest and greatest good of all so if it doesn't resonate with you it's not your story it's really that simple i just need to put down some ground rules so that we are respectful when we are commenting and also if you like and love this segment this is brand new this is something that i'm doing for the first time on the channel if this is something that you like that you desire that you want to see more of tap that like button tell me in comments drop an emoji of your sign um in the comment section show some love and that way i know that i should continue with this segment and keep going so this is brand new i know that all science is a big commitment so i want to ensure that i am doing service to myself and also to my community so i am really looking forward to it what i've got here today i have four different decks on um that i've well, one of them I may or may not, two of them I may or may not be working with, but two I'm definitely working with. So this is going to be an amazing, amazing segment. I already know it, feel it. I have been feeling this vibe for a little while. It's just that I needed for it to birth in its full form. And again, if you have been following me for a little while, you would know I go through divine guidance and downloads and channeling. And that's how I do everything that I've done on my channel. So thank you once again for being here and let's get rolling. We will start with Aries. Let's make some noise. So I will be pulling three cards and the first card will be your your current where you are currently. So three cards for Aries. What does what's Aries current situation? What is Aries current situation? Aries current situation. More than one card wants to pop out as always. What's the challenge for Aries? What does Aries need to know right now? What's the current challenge facing my beautiful Aries? And what's the advice? Advice came out loud and clear. So let's get rolling. Aries, High Priestess is your overall energy. So a lot of you are tapping into your intuition. You're feeling highly intuitive. You feel like you have this strong sense of inner knowing. That's how you're feeling right now. And for some of you, this might be quite foreign. I'm picking up. 
depending on where you are on your journey again time timeline is fluid time and energy is fluid but what i'm picking up is you just feeling this heightened sense of trust you feeling this heightened sense of deep deep inner knowing you just know things but you don't know how you don't know why but you just know <laughs> it's that that's what i'm picking up and in your challenge we have ace of swords i'm loving this so there are some truths with the high priestess and the ace of swords this is telling me that some of you there has been some truths that you are seeking that you are wanting to know about want to be revealed because this is in your challenge position i'm picking up that you may or may not know about these truths just yet aries and this is what you are desiring to really know and understand for yourself and what's coming in the advice we've got the four of pentacles so this could be to do with money security home um i'm also picking up a job i'm going to further clarify this um four of pentacles for you but um this showing up here is saying to me that see how he's got the whole city behind him can you see that it's almost like you are seeking some form of tr truth or a new beginning Maybe some of you are looking for a new job. I'm picking that up, that some of you are looking for a new job um, or a new beginning financially. Maybe there has been things that have happened in the past where your finances have been up and down and um, now you're ready. Now you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready to take that step forward. You've been ready to move forward. And with these four of pentacles, um, I feel like a lot of you have felt restricted financially. Some of you have felt restricted. That's two storylines I'm picking up. One is around financial security. The other one is feeling restricted as it relates to finances, feeling as if you don't have enough resources. Okay, I'm going to use another deck to clarify what this Four of Pentacles is. What is this? Please clarify this Four of Pentacles for Aries. Yeah, definitely to do with work. It's been clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you are seeking a new beginning as it relates to money, career, work finances and you you are you are ready you're ready to work hard you're ready to put your skills to into practice that's what this is saying to me let me know in comments if this is resonating for you so these are going to be brief readings because i will be going through all the um all the signs of the zodiac so let's see what's your thank you to everyone that donated i was able to get this new deck which i'm absolutely excited to share with you so for my Aries, what do they need to know? Ooh, so some of you have felt threatened as it relates to perhaps work, career, or maybe this was in the past, which has resulted in you really tapping inwards. Um, getting the guidance that tap into your divine feminine, the more you drop into your, so we all have male or female, we all have a feminine side and a masculine side. With the, with the Divine Feminine card showing up, this is saying to me, the more you connect with your feminine side, in, that's all about intuition, about feelings, about emotions, the quicker you're going to get your outcome. The quicker you're going to get out of this situation. This card wants to come out. There we go. Four of Pentacles. I do not make any of this stuff up. Look at that. Right here. Hamster wheel. Surviving daily hustle i really feel that with this four of pentacles in your advice i feel like a lot of you have felt that for a long time it it's almost like you know you're working so hard you hustling 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 and trying to make your ends meet and now you're just re ready for a breakthrough the word breakthrough is coming up strongly so let me know in comments if um this is you but um your advice your advice is really you are ready you're ready to do the work you're ready for a new beginning so no more procrastination no more being in the no more so it's basically saying get off the hamster wheel Aries stop overthinking stop overthinking the situation stop overthinking where you are at and what's happened time to break free and welcome this new beginning tap that like button and you can watch all your other placements so stick around to see your other placements um, to see what else is unfolding. I think it's always a great way to know what's coming up for you. I will be tap that like button if you want me to continue with this segment and if you want to see more of these readings. 
um, I will be moving to Taurus. So welcome Taurus. This reading is all about what do you need to know right now regarding your current situation. I will be pulling three cards and um, I will be clarifying as required and also pulling situation specific cards. So welcome, welcome. If you're new to my world, I do readings daily. And if you like this reading, whoa, there's, that's a lot. So what is Taurus current situation? Taurus current situation, challenge and advice. Let's go to the advice. One card for advice, please. Taurus, these cards all, there's like so many cards that want to come up. What's going on with you, Taurus? What is going on? Drop an emoji if you're a Taurus and smash that like button so I know that you like this segment and you want to want me to continue doing and bringing more of these readings to you. Okay, so two came out in your advice. I'll take that. So Taurus, your present situation, you are celebrating Taurus. What are you celebrating? This is epic. Your current, you are in celebratory vibes. Well, I mean, we just went through, so we are now in Libra, which is water season, but we had um, Virgo not long ago. So you might still be feeling that vibe. You are celebrating something to do with money. I mean, this is in your challenge position, but if, you are, if your current energy is celebration, I feel like some of you, you wanted to, you, this is something to do with money, something physical, either money or a house. Two words that are coming strongly for you, Taurus. So some of you, maybe you wanted to move house. Maybe you wanted to um, move to a new place, buy your own house. I'm really getting the vibe that somebody here bought their own house. This may or may not be for everybody, but I do feel that this celebration is either moving into your own house or moving into a new house or getting a new job that is giving you more money and more recognition and more benefits. Let me know if this is what you're claiming. So what's your advice, Taurus? This is a ooh, page of swords and the king of swords. So in your advice, this is saying to me that it, Taurus, now is the time to really focus on being more logical it's all about head over heart and it's all about logic no more not not the feeling touchy feely stuff is not going to give you the the outcomes that you desire in your advice this is saying to me it's time to look at things in black and white it's either there or it's not there and just cut to the chase because there has been certain things that has been revealed to you in throughout your journey. We're not, I'm not really focusing on the past. I'm looking at what your current energy is and what's the challenge. So there has been stuff that's happened in the past, which has brought forward some truths. And as a result of that, now what spirit is asking you to do is really focus on uh, what are the things in front of you? What's the evidence? Can you see the evidence? Let's see what the situation cards have to say. So Taurus, what does Taurus need? What's the current situation for Taurus? Pretending, fake beyond means. Ooh, so with the page of swords and the pretending card, there were people around you that were pretending to be something they, that were not. Um, I'm not really getting that that was you, but I feel like be careful of energies around you that might pretend to be somebody that they're not. And if you can see, you can see she's got two shoes. They're both different colors. One is pink and one is black. So there's definitely that pretense. Oh, mental prison confined. So I feel like this must have been your past. I'm picking up this is your past energy. So there was something that happened in the past that made you feel like you were locked up. But now all that is over you. I think that's that page of swords. Yeah, for some of you it was to do with love. And you've and for some of you, this celebration, this Ten of Pentacles could be love as well. So that's the other thing. So maybe you're getting married, engaged, or moving in with your partner. Let me know, Taurus. And one more. Soulmate. Oh, Taurus! You've got it all going with the pen, Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups and the Love and Soulmate. What is going on with you? Let me know in comments. I am excited to know. Taurus, what a fantabulous reading. 
this is for you give me some em Taurus emojis give me some emojis at the bottom and also tap that like button if you haven't already to see more of these readings but love soulmate three of cups ten of pentacles I mean you've got it all love abundance cha-ching cha-ching the money the moolah and um, also clarity with the king of swords so thank you so much Taurus and I will see you next time but do hit that like button let me know in comments if you want these see more of these readings so I know to keep bringing them to you and do hit the subscribe button please too if you haven't already all right now Gemini let's move to Gemini so what's the current situation for Gemini what what's the current situation what does Gemini need to know right now oh that's a lot Taurus had a similar thing going on just before Gemini welcome welcome to your reading drop an emoji with your rising sign or any emoji about what you want to what you want your current situation to be so Gemini current situation one card challenge Gemini you've got too many cards spirit has a lot to say to you I'm not pulling I'm pulling three cards for each sign challenge for Gemini what is current challenge for Gemini current challenge for Gemini please current challenge Your, the cards for you they all like there's so many that want to pop out and I'm doing all signs so I can't have okay so that's your current challenge and advice there you go got the advice perfect so justice major arcana boom Gemini there is a fair outcome that you have just received that's your current situation or you're seeking justice what is it that you're seeking justice in let's see what's your challenge some of you this is to do with um, an offer offer to do with something to do with passion creativity could be a job um, career as well um, is what I'm picking up so currently you are waiting or have been waiting for a while for this opportunity to show up this is in your challenge but in your current situation showing justice which is a major arcana to me this is saying that you have you have received a fair outcome so whatever this challenge was you've overcome it or you will be overcoming it very very soon now justice is the card of libra and we are currently in libra season so what's your outcome celebration yeah so let me know in comments is it a creative venture that you're starting is it a passion um, what is this ace of wands for you is it business is it creativity is it passion what is it that you are celebrating a new job i'm picking up a new job a promotion for somebody a new job when I say promotion I'm picking up this vibe that it's it's in a it's a new job but in a promoted position so it's not the same position that you were doing in your other job so congratulations Gemini epic reading let's see I'm pulling some cards from the situations deck as well Wow I've got another two more wanting to come up so the first one is soulmate so some of you um, you might be celebrating a union meeting your soulmate the three of cups so maybe this love was not the offer that you were looking for but with the knight of cups um, maybe there was someone that you were interested in and now finally you things are gaining momentum soulmate romantic could also be to do with a partnership business partnership could be a soulmate from that perspective the other card we have is realization and I feel this realization card is talking about justice the reason why you have justice is because you have had some major realizations about how things have been in the past or how things are now plugged yeah tune in and connected so I feel like for some of you this ace of wands is something to do with social media something to do with internet something to do with being online because um, that also is giving me this vibe of the three of cups so cal if you're looking to calibrate to work with other people this this is saying um, that's going to be highly successful in your guidance and also give you a lot of abundance and recognition because um, 
networking is another word that's coming up for you gemini so many words coming up like i mean the number of cards that were trying to come out in your reading was just incredible so gemini there's so many you've got soulmate you've got success celebration you've got justice what are you claiming let me know in comments and also drop an emoji um and if you want to see more of these readings please do tap that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when the next one becomes available so thank you so so much gemini for being here i truly appreciate you and we are moving to cancer so welcome my beautiful cancer how are you all today give me some noise some drum rolls some party emoji current energy let's see what's the challenge for what's the current challenge for Je for cancer what does cancer need to know challenge two cards want to pop out what's the advice for beautiful cancer there we go okay so your current situation wow congratulations cancer some of you have got a new opportunity a gift from a universe so i feel like this is um something to do with either job or money um i'm also picking social media I'm just seeing this pentacle as the World Wide Web. And this is really random. I've never seen the Ace of Pentacles in that light before. But for somebody here, could be very, very specific. As we know, take what resonates, leave the rest. So I feel like um, there has been a gift from the universe. Or maybe this uh, this social media World Wide Web that I'm getting is, that's how you're going to get your Ace of Pentacles. That's how you're going to get the start. Let me know in comments um, what it is for you. Let's see, what's in your challenge? yeah so in your challenge position we have justice and um king of swords so now this is saying this really is screaming uh le law legal um because with the king of swords this could be a lawyer something to do with the law same with justice card it could be with the law system so somebody here maybe maybe you need to get patents maybe you need to protect your business maybe you need to set up trademarks um or maybe this could be to do with protecting your life, your future. This Ace of Pentacles could also be a new home. And maybe what this is saying that you need to make sure that, you know, all the legal eyes and you dot your eyes and you cross your T's when it comes to the legalities of this new beginning. Also looking at contracts. Um, if you're starting a new job or looking for a job or business partnership, what's coming up with this in your challenge position with these two cards in your challenge is saying to me that make sure that you have a thorough view of the contract that everything is in order the house is in order so that you know everything goes smoothly moving forward let's see what's in your outcome ace of wands i mean you've got two aces money abundance prosperity passion creativity you've got it all going what is this for you um I'm going to quickly clarify with this Ace of Wands. Let me know in comments, Cancer, what is it that you are starting? Is it a new creative venture? Is it a passion? But this is, you've got two, two gifts from the universe and they're both facing each other. I'll show you. They, these, both, both these hands are facing each other. So this is beautiful. Your current position and the outcome. I mean, you are going to get the outcome that you want. Yeah. This is a new beginning. Whatever was in the past was not serving you. With the ten of wands that's what it's saying yeah you're moving to karma shores i mean that's what this is so this ace of wands whatever that difficulty person place situation was in the past you're leaving that behind you're going to karma shores with the six of um swords i really love that let's see so what does cancer need to know family wonderful so a lot of you might be spending time with family or family is very very important to you it's about your inner circle so it could be also close friendships that might be quite near and dear to you on the tape oh my goodness on the table offer proposal commitment so for some of you i feel like this could be to do with a house could also be a new relationship although we don't have any love cards but you've had to move away from certain things which is bringing two major major gifts and opportunities from the universe to you cancer this is such an epic reading tap that like button claim claim these blessings in comments let me know what it is for you whether it's an offer is it a proposal it's a commitment and or is it spending more time with the family maybe you're moving closer to your family for somebody here is also what i'm picking up so tap that like button if you haven't already hit subscribe let me know if you want to see more of these readings
that's the only way I'll keep this going. This is a new segment for me, so yes, let's keep rolling and we are going to be moving to Leo. Welcome Leo to your reading. Now let's see what is coming up for beautiful Leo. What's the current situation for Leo? What does Leo need to know right now? Current situation. One card for current situation, please. One card. What is the challenge for Leo right now? Three cards want to pop out. I'll take it. And what's the outcome? One card for the outcome, please. One card for the outcome. Wow. Leo, look at how many cards want to pop out. Give me a line in the comments. If you're Leo watching, make some roar. Make a roar. King of the jungle. Leo, let's see. What's your what's your advice? There we go. All right. So Leo, your current situation, you are feeling like you have so many options. Could be to do with love or could be to do with I feel that options in work and um, career for some of you. That was the first word that came up, but I also feel love for some of you. Leo, how many people you dating, huh? How many people you dating? You're having a lot of fun, are we? Yeah, so in your challenge, you've got, you've walked away. There was an ending of some sort. You're going through an end ending and you've had to walk away. This is in your challenge position right now. Or you're about to have, you're going through this right now. Where, they, where you're having an ending and you've had to walk away. For some of you, this is, this could be with the king of pentacles showing up this could be to do with the relationship so the reason why i say that king of pentacles is about house home stability security or even a job so let me know in comments leo which is it are you walking away from a job or are you walking away from love situation where you shared home uh, bank accounts children all the things because king king of pentacles that's what he is he's about security stability look he's got a castle behind him right there so, you know, it could be one of these two storylines. Let's see what's in your advice. Yeah, wow. Major change and transformation, Leo. There's some big changes coming your way. What is this? Is it to do with love career or is it a job that you're leaving behind, walking away from and into something? So in your advice, I'm going to clarify the tower. Let's clarify the tower for Leo. What's this tower for Leo? Please clarify the tower. Tower is basically change and transformation. Yeah, you're looking. So this to me is saying that you're looking for better options. You're looking out into the world. You're looking at what else can you do out there right now. And that's what this is saying to me. So with the tower, you've got options, Leo. Your ships are coming in. It's about going through this change and transformation. Only then will you be able to see what's coming. I was guided to look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, whatever happened in the past, it was not nice. There was lying stealing cheating for some of you but hey spirits bringing you a new beginning and this is leo showing up in your own reading so this is really good leo um let's see what's coming up with the situation deck from the situation deck for you leo whoa interlude it's time to pause timing factor so a lot of you have been assessing your options and you feel that way because you probably think, oh, I've got a lot of options in Korea. I've got a lot of options in terms of love. And um, what this is saying, it's time to take a break. Time to take a break. What else is coming for beautiful Leo? Yeah, for some of you, this was to do with love, this tower moment and this ending that you had to walk away from. And uh, some of you... This has really shook you because there has been legal matters. As I said, King of Pentacles could be children, could be home, could be, you know, untangling of all the things that you brought together with this person um, or situation or even in a work context, um, you know, if things got really serious and the law enforcement, if you were treated unfairly or, mis dis or dismissed unfairly and had to bring in law enforcement, very specific again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Give me some line emoji in the comments. If you want to see more, tap that like button, hit subscribe so you know when the next reading becomes available. But also let me know that you want to see more of these coming up. All right. And let me know what resonates. This uh, What's this tower for you? What is this tower for you, Leo? 
I'm interested, I'm intrigued. And so many options. All right, let's go to Virgo. Welcome, beautiful Virgo, to your reading. We're looking at your current situation and um, advice as well. So your current situation, what's the challenge for beautiful Virgo? And I'm also picking some Oracle cards. Virgo, your reading is... The last few had like half the deck falling. Yours is quite... Let's see. And the advice. Perfect. Let's see what's happening with you. Ooh, Virgo. Alright, so some of you have been feeling stuck. Now, this could be a job, could be something to do with something. Well, it's something to do with you, what you love. Could be a job or could be a loved one. Now, the Eight of Swords is a lot of mental energy. And what this is showing up in your current situation is saying that you are too much in your mind thinking about this. Why did this happen? How did this happen? How did it get to this? Why are we here? How can we come out of this? They, these are all the questions and things that are happening right now in your world. And in your challenge position, the Queen of Cups is saying to me that this is something that you really cared about. You This meant a lot to you. You, you know, this this was personal it became personal whatever this situation is became personal because it's something that you are connected with at a deep emotional level now in your advice we have the nine of wands it's telling me two things take what resonates the first thing it's saying to me is that you have to keep going stay persistent whatever this is you have to keep going be persistent because you are one wand away from completion the second storyline and this is where you have to use discernment and see what resonates for your individual situation and leave the rest. A lot of you are feeling like wounded warrior. I'm going to clarify this because depending on where you are on your timeline. Now, please clarify this nine of wands. Yeah, you're waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like with this nine of wands, what it's saying to me that there's been a long time of this back and forth. You're done waiting. You're tired of waiting. And you're wondering, will things change? And what the Three of Wands is saying, yes, things are going to change. Just stay, hang on a little bit longer. Because after the Three of Wands, we have the Four of Wands, which is my card for happily ever after. So you are very, very close, Virgo. That's what this is saying. I'm going to pull some um, situation card. There we go. Twin Flames. So a lot of you, this was to do with the love. Someone that was a Twin Flame or a Soulmate. Mirrored souls, yeah, and this is why you're so much in your mind and you're playing this whole conversation and feeling like a wounded warrior because you keep thinking to yourself that how did this happen? Why did this happen? We're such a good fit. We're such a good match. Anything else? Yeah, so this card today is telling, this is like the power of now, if you've ever read that book. This is talking about this Eight of Swords. You need to stop forgetting, not, not really forget, it's about focus on today. Focus in the present moment. You're giving too much time, attention, and energy to what has happened. Why did this happen? You know, you're too much in your mind about that. And it's stopping and stalling you from seeing your ships arriving. That's what this is saying um, in this reading. So there's a strong message to... Look, she can release herself from this blindfold. All she needs to do is remove the blindfold and she can see exactly where she is and how she can get out of here. But she's choosing to stay bound. And that's what I'm saying she because that's a she. Male, female. We know the drill. Take what resonates, leave the rest. But what this is saying is the more you focus in the present moment, see how far you've come. See all the things that you've learned and grown from. And that's what's going to help you to see these ships arriving. Because otherwise you keep staying stuck in the past and you're not moving forward. And that's really what this whole reading is about. So Virgo, tap that like button, give me some emojis. Let me know if you want to see more of these readings coming. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is a new segment for me and yeah, I'm actually on a roll today. I'm loving doing this, so we'll see, we'll see. All right, Libra, welcome, welcome Libra to your reading. So today, let's see, ooh, your present energy challenge lots want to come out in outcome i'm only there we go i want to pull one card for each but you've got okay so some of you there is an ace of cups and the devil 
So there has been an offer that's making some of you feel trapped or the second storyline, the offer of love or offer that you're receiving is from someone who's a Capricorn. So you are either dealing with a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart. In your challenge, a lot of mental energy. So your challenge at the moment is to stay focused. Too much in your head, particularly with the devil card. So what this, I feel like you are analyzing, overanalyzing and really keeping yourself stuck with these two cards. That's why this is in your challenge position because your current energy is feeling trapped. That's what this devil energy is all about. And what this is saying is you need to focus on what you desire. And the more you focus on, this is your current energy, Ace of Cups. So there has been a new new cup, new offer of love, of job, of something that you love doing. And all you need to do is see what is and what isn't. With the King of Swords in your challenge position, use the sword of the King of Swords and cut through the BS. That's what this is in a very... Um, short sharp honest way i'm an aries so i'm going to say it the way it is in your outcome tower oh so for some of you this new love so okay for some of you this new love or new offer that you had is making you feel trapped so in your challenge position that is why you have so much mental energy going on but you are not able to see clearly king of swords you're not able to see clearly because of feeling trapped but if you don't come out of this situation, if you don't use the King of Swords as the challenge and cut through the BS and see things for what they are, there's going to be a tower moment. I'm going to clarify the tower. You've got a lot of big, big energy coming in. Um, You're reading Libra. So again, with the tower, we have the three of wands. Let's see. Anything else? Okay. Now we have the king and the queen. We've got the king and the queen of swords, divine counterpart. So for some of you, it's definitely a love situation here. But eight of eight has showed up again. So spirit is saying, I'm telling you, you need to release this mental load. You need to unwind yourself, remove the blindfold, see clearly. If you don't, this tower moment is going to happen. And that's what spirit is saying in this situation. Wow. What a powerful reading, Libra. Woo! Give me some emojis. Drop your star sign. Give me some scales in comments. Archangel Michael. This is so, so beautiful. This is saying protection prevented from harm, divine intervention. I'm not making any of this up. Tower moments are usually divine intervention. When you don't pay attention to signs, synchronicities, messages that spirit is giving to you, and if you keep doing being this eight of eight of swords keep staying in your mind feeling trapped then spirit is going to intervene that's there we go realization so it's about becoming aware of your current situation and what's holding you back libra that's your biggest message that's your biggest piece of advice in this reading so tap that like button if you haven't already. Let me know what resonated for you in this reading. Most subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next reading becomes available. I want to do more of these readings and this is something new I'm introducing on my channel. If you have other placements, please, please feel free to watch your other placements as well. Check them out. And um, yeah, tap, tap, tap that like and let me know. What's that tower moment for you? What is it that you're releasing? What is it that you freeing yourself from? Ooh, freedom, big word. Scorpio, welcome to your reading. So what's your current situation, Scorpio? Let's have a look. What's your present challenge? And what's the advice? Beautiful. Scorpio, I love it. Ooh. Scorpio, look at your reading. I mean, I think I can just stop here. There's your present situation, you're walking away from something. And your challenge and your advice is stop doubting yourself. You've got all the tools, all the resources to create this new beginning. You are the magician. So you may have Aries placements. This is also Aries energy. But you have all the, you've got it all. You've got the wand, the cups, the sword, everything. You can see it. The pentacle, 
you've got all the tools you need to start this new beginning so stop doubting yourself you've got it you've walked away you made a decision it's now time to embrace the new and the moment you embrace the new the universe is there to support you i mean the bill of fortune this is so abundant some of you are walking away from a job um something to do with even money i feel like some of you have walked away maybe your financial situation wasn't that fantastic before and now you're creating that abundance you're welcoming that abundance you are having more prosperity and bringing it and claiming it into your life i'm just going to quickly see and also feel some of you will be traveling and the other thing is, that i'm picking up is relocation now this is very specific it may or may not resonate for all of you just going to see what this wheel of fortune is about well yeah so something happened in the past that wasn't that great that helped kept you stuck but this wheel of fortune is what you need there's celebration so what are you celebrating scorpio what are you celebrating is it a new job is it a new car is it relocation is it um more money more money or a relationship could be even a relationship for somebody all right i'm going to pull some cards from the situation deck wow unconditional love i feel like this is you needing to give love to yourself let me know in comments this is very deep genuine certain love yeah i feel like this is giving love to yourself and i also feel like whatever you walked away from you gave it unconditional love but that's not what you got lost ghosted blocked out cut off oh my god this eight of cups i think you've you've basically blocked cut off that person situation and you're just like i'm done i'm done that's how you're going to get your wheel of fortune and the magician wow so so powerful scorpio make some noise in comments let me know what resonated most what are you claiming what are you creating and what are you walking away from and tap that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when the next reading becomes available all righty so much to celebrate the wheel of fortune such an epic epic reading okie dokes let's head to sagittarius all right so what's the current situation for sagittarius please welcome sagittarius to a reading look at how many cards want to pop out what's the current situation present situation for what does sagittarius need to know right now what does sagittarius need to know right now what's the current challenge what's the challenge for sagittarius challenge and what's the advice all right wow sagittarius you are creating something new the magician you may have some aries placements as well let's see what's your challenge Ooh, so some of you you are waiting for a new offer to do with either house or a job with the pentacles or money so when i say money i'm thinking like maybe you applied for a loan and also with the knight of cups maybe you applied for a loan or maybe you applied for a grant of some sort and you're waiting to hear that's what i'm picking up because this is all about resources um physical resources that's what i'm picking up for you so let me know in comments what is it for you sagittarius but beautiful cards wow your advice your advice is nine of pentacles so the more you focus on yourself focus on your on what is making you happy your independence what makes you you that's what's going to bring you closer and closer to creation give you the ideas the downloads the knowing of what is it that you're creating because the magician has all the tools has the cup the pentacle the sword the wand the magician has it all and you have infinite possibilities i feel like somebody here really needs to hear that my uh, attention is getting really drawn towards the infinity sign so you have infinite possibilities sagittarius let me know i mean there's a lot of like look at all these there's a lot of abundance so somebody here if you've been worried about money financial security stability or um, even your home with these two cards i feel like you are safe you're taken care of all you need to do is stop doubting yourself and start creating so what is it that you're creating sagittarius let me know in comments um but nine of pentacles such a lush 
luxurious card i mean this is highly abundant there's a lot of money surrounding you so there's some something to do with money that's coming towards you what is it let me know in comments i'm very very int interested and intrigued wow archangel michael protection so divine protected prevented from harm divine intervention so you are divinely protected so what i'm not really looking at your past energy i'm looking at your current energy your challenge and your advice so there has some something has happened in the past which has made you doubt whether you're protected or about your safety and security which makes sense why the queen of pentacles has shown up in your reading because you are worried about your stability your security whether you'll be okay and whether your family your loved ones will be okay and with the archangel michael card i feel like someone really needs to hear this confirmation you will be you will be claim it in comments claim this blessing in comments yeah now is not the time to avoid this racing car so some of you this could be maybe to do with cars you're into cars but what this is saying is that avoiding the problem is not going to bring the solution dealing with it is what's going to bring you closure and completion and final card yeah i mean look these two cards are saying stop avoiding so whatever you're avoiding is what's stopping this creation this birthing with the magician card so if you are still you know it's about facing the truth it's about being rational logical and knowing where you are and what you desire so you can overcome the challenges because you are protected and you're divinely guided so this is really really beautiful reading i really love this reading for you sagittarius let me know in comments what resonated most for you what you took away most and claim that protection from archangel michael such a beautiful blessing so tap that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these readings um and thank you sagittarius for being here now we are going to move to capricorn welcome to your reading capricorn thank you so much for being with me here today so what is your current situation capricorn what is your current situation <clears throat> what's your challenge and what's your advice oh capricorn your cards are just coming out so beautifully i'm loving it oh look at that Capricorn, what is going on with you? Your current situation, you are very happy. Ten of Cups, family, house, home, joy, love, really feeling balanced. That's the vibe I'm picking up, really feeling balanced. Um, some of you with this Page of Pentacles in your challenge, I actually love having Page of Pentacles in challenge. This basically means that you want to learn about something, investigate more about something, know about something. It could be to do with... Um, your career could be a side hustle for some of you and um, in your advice this is definitely a side hustle or business because the king of wands is a highly entrepreneurial sign so maybe you want to start a new business a new creative venture and with this challenge um, you know it's saying that upskill yourself it's easy enough to upskill yourself these days you can watch YouTube videos and do all sorts of things that doesn't cost a lot of money so this King of Wands, again, um, is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, so I'm really loving this for you. So let's see. I don't really feel the need to clarify, but let's see if this King of... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. I cannot make this up. King of Wands clarified by King of Wands. So Spirit is saying, keep going, Capricorn. If you have this idea, this business idea, this creative venture that you want to get started just do it and the king of wands um that's action oriented it's not about procrastination it's not about thinking more being in your mind analyzing any of that it's about just getting the things done wow this is interesting the card drastic came out of the if that means extreme so maybe what you want to do is completely different to what you're doing so with this extreme card i feel like it's a chalk and cheese maybe you know maybe you are a um i don't know let's say you're an accountant or a lawyer and then you want to start a tarot channel so maybe that's why you feel like oh my goodness how does this even make sense how can i be a you know i'm supposed to be logical this and that so maybe there's some form of conflict 
um, which is why you haven't made that change. I love this. Spirit is asking you to just come in. Whatever this is for you with the King of Wands, whether it's a side business, side hustle, just make the commitment because it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to be long term. That's what this commitment card is saying. So Capricorn, let me know in comments. What is it for you? I mean, I'm loving this reading. All beautiful cards. Like there's no card here that I'm, I would be worried about. So give me some love, love hearts in the comment section. Claim this commitment, this Ten of Cups, this happiness, joy, side hustle, more money um, in comments. And um, let me know if you want to see more of these readings because, yeah, I'm loving doing them. Hit that like and subscribe button as well so you know when the next one becomes available. And um, it also lets me know that you want more of these. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate you. Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius to your reading. So what's your current situation? Wow, lots and lots of cards want to pop out. One card for current situation for Aquarius. Okay, that flew right out. What's the current challenge for Aquarius? Current challenge for Aquarius. So many cards, Aquarius. All right, I'll take it. One card for outcome. Outcome advice for Aquarius, please. All right, that flew right out, so we'll go with it. All righty, so your current situation, we saw the Ace of Wands. So a lot of you are starting something. Something passionate, something that excites you, something that you look forward to. Something creative, something passionate is what I'm picking up. So let's see. Wow. Wow. Look at these cards in your challenge position. We have you have been waiting for this for a while. So I feel like some of you have been waiting for this for a while. But this is in your challenge position. This is something you love. So this ace of now you have two aces. You've got the ace of wands and the ace of cups and the two of cups. So this could be a new this could be in relation to relationship or this could be in relation to something that you love. Why do I say something that you love? Because we have the two aces right next to each other. This is your current position and this is in your challenge. So I feel like whatever you are currently wanting to achieve, manifest, call in, is something that you truly love. Could be romance, but it could also be to do with a business venture or a creative venture. Let me know in comments, um, Aquarius, which is it for you? But this is really beautiful energy. Now I can see why so many cards wanted to come up for your reading. Now in your advice... This is going to be something, whatever this is, what Spirit is saying is that slow and steady wins the race. And it's about balance. So if this is a second job, if this is love or a relationship, this is going to be a solid commitment. But what, what you need to be mindful of, that there is balance. And I feel like this balance card is more to do with some lessons that you might have learned in the past. And what Spirit is saying is that, remember that, the balance of giving and receiving, there needs to be an equilibrium. So very, very strong and powerful message. I don't feel like I need to clarify that further. Let me know, what is it? Is it new love? Is it a job that you want, a side hustle that you love, that you want to do? Is it um, a creative venture or your passion project? Yeah, intervention. So I feel like with the two aces, the divine has inter it's like divine intervention offering you these two offers, you know, with the ace of wands and the ace of cups. It's like divine can see how much you've been through and is intervening and giving you this gift. So claim this gift, Aquarius. Yeah, in the past you have maybe some of you are ah, pre this ace of wands felt lost, didn't know what to do, where to go, how to start. Or maybe that's your challenge. You're looking out and you don't know. But your ships are coming in with the three of wands. That's what this is saying. I mean, you've got interview and love affair. Like, so some of you, this is definitely a new job, new business, new offer. And so some of you, it's love. I mean, I don't make any of this stuff up. You have the two of cups. It's also a card of partnership. Um, it's also a card of love. So 
all of this is beautiful and available to you Aquarius claim this in comments let me know what resonated most with you and as always take what resonates leave the rest and if you want to see more of these readings tap that like button hit that notification bell and subscribe so I know that you want to see more and make sure you give me let me know in comments um, that you watch this segment so I also know thank you so much Aquarius and I will see you next time Alrighty, we are moving on to Pisces. Beautiful Pisces. Welcome Pisces to your reading. How are you all doing today? So I will be looking at your current situation and challenge and advice. So what's the current situation for Pisces? What's the challenge? And what is the advice I want I don't want to make these readings too Ooh, Pisces what is going on cards flying everywhere advice please advice for Pisces advice for Pisces what's the advice lots of cards want to come out and I want to keep these brief I don't want them to be going for hours and hours these readings all right I'm gonna take these Wow Pisces how many cards have come out okay so in your current present situation I can see why lots of cards wanted to come out I feel like um, there has been a situation which has made you question people places and situations and um, as a result, you have really, really st stood your ground and firmed up boundaries or have been called to have stronger boundaries with people, places, situations, because you felt like you couldn't trust them. You felt like they were juggling you. You were being juggled or two-timed. Could be love, could be job, um, but there's, there's definitely a sense of lack of trust um, and needing to watch your back. So that's your current situation. Let me know if this is resonating. This is very specific. It may or may not resonate for everyone. As always with these collective readings, take what resonates and leave the rest. Now in your challenge, we have Ace of Cups. So yeah, a lot of you are wondering whether you'll have a new offer, a new beginning, whether, whether you'll get love again, whether you'll be able to be fulfilled at a deep emotional level. I really feel that. Let's see what's in your advice. I love this. The world card. The world card in your advice is saying to me, Pisces, you have finished that cycle. What you need to do is really let it go. That didn't serve you. You've learned and grown. You've firmed your boundaries. And then once you've firmed your boundaries and learned your lessons and, for, and understood why it happened, why it had to happen, you'll be able to move on. You'll be able to get this new offer, this new cup that's, that universe is literally gifting to you. Look at that. There is a hand coming out from the clouds. So this is coming towards you. Let me know what it is for you, Pisces. There is something definitely that's coming your way, a message that is going to make you very happy and fulfill you at a deep emotional level. With the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, this is something beautiful. This is something that you want, something that gives you a lot of joy and happiness. Now, I will say with the Page of Cups, though, in your advice, be careful that these people from the past do not try to make a way back, wiggle their way back in you've learned you've grown now you're ready to close that cycle and that's what that world card is saying it's time to close those old cycles leave those people places situations behind so you can welcome the new cup the new offer that spirit is literally trying to gift to you so that's what this whole reading is saying wow so powerful Pisces what are you claiming let me know in comments yeah, so here, I feel like a lot of you might be plugged, meaning I feel like you might be focusing a lot on work, um, focusing a lot on what your priorities are, um, and commitment, yeah. You just want commitment. You are done with this, with this sort of juggling, people that juggle people, places, situations, people that you can't trust. You want someone that you can trust, who you can commit to. And with this commitment card and then the ace of cups i definitely feel that this is what universe wants to gift and give to you 
but it's about you completing this old cycle and letting go that's really what this whole reading is saying um, for you Pisces I am loving this reading for you let me know in comments what you claiming what commitment is it in love is it in job is it in career that you're seeking or is it in business that you want or is it a commitment to self let's not forget self give me some fish emojis in the comment section so I know Pisces you watch this and also let me know what resonated most if you want to see more of these readings tap that like button hit subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when the next reading becomes available it also lets me know that you have enjoyed this and you want to see more of these readings so thank you so much for being here this is like I've had an absolute ball doing this reading for all of you all of you and if you're watching till now wowza I appreciate you thank you for being here if you OG you guys blow me away tap that like button hit subscribe it means the world it lets me know that you want to see more of these um, because all signs is a big commitment time energy all wise you know it's tapping into a lot of uh, energy levels to get these readings to you so um, yeah I need to know as well that this is serving you and the only way I can know like subscribe comment share and of course donations are bonus if you'd like to connect with me on facebook instagram tiktok or donate to my channel all the information is in the description box thank you so much for being here with me i thank you from the bottom of my heart if you're not here i'm not here it's really that simple thank you hit that like button subscribe tap that notification bell and i'll see you next time